you ever had a project or a piece of equipment that you could just go out and buy one and it would solve a problem that you have but instead you are like i'd really actually like to build one of those but then it doesn't come up enough to actually go through the process of actually building that thing that's been fume extraction for me for way too long every time i do a project that requires soldering it reminds me of the fact that i haven't finished this project and again i could just go out and buy one but i had like i want to build i want i wanted to build my own so today i'm finally putting a line through that project i've raided my parts bin for some old lamp parts and I'm going to assemble these into what will hopefully be a functional directable fume extractor. I want to get this done by the end of the day, so yeah, I gotta get started. So, <clears throat> yep, that's better. All right, so I got the two metal plates uh, cut to size. Next step is going to be working out the holes for mounting <clears throat> on here and then eventually the goosenecks. So that's what I'm gonna work on next. do myself any favors by not actually measuring this. I guess we can do it this way. It does not have to be perfect. It's going to give me relatively center of that. Well, that could be a problem. Uh-oh. Hmm. I just have to do a bit more modification because I don't have the right size build it. Well, that sucks. That's going to hit that as we go down. So I got I got to cut that now. So unfortunately, I don't have a drill bit that matches the exact size of this. I'm going to have to resort to I don't know. I'm thinking maybe using the Dremel. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to use the Dremel and wallow that hole out. <sighs> Nope. <clears throat> uh-uh. Not doing that. 
It's gonna take forever. All right, time to go to the store. So, the next step is figuring out these guys. Now, I believe both of these are the same size. They might be slightly different. Mm, mostly the same. Also, while I was out, I picked up this little box to put my switch into. So. Ah, so that was a perfect time to talk about this. So I went ahead and drew up a little cage from the computer <clears throat> and printed this out. And this is going to hold a carbon filter. So, ooh. These filters, so I put these mounting holes on the frame so it will attach directly to the fan. But the filter is bigger than those holes. <laughs> So that's a bit of an oopsie. So in order to change these filters out, I'm going to have to take the um, I'm going to have to take it out or take the fan off. Well, that's unpleasant. Suppose I could cut these down. Yeah, there's nothing that says I couldn't cut these down, right? Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay, let me start over. I drew this up quite a while ago and <laughs> um, promptly forgot what size screw I was even using at the time and uh, a key feature. So you know how I was talking about the fact that the filters are too big for the screw mounting holes. Turns out I actually had thought about that when I drew this up and there is a little pocket for the head of the screw to go into. That will allow these filters to slide right over the top of that. Yeah, I was actually thinking when I drew this up. All right. So there, I have scored a line where the mounting hole is going to be. Because this isn't going to sit perfectly flat. There's a little gap here. Alright, it's time to head back over to the other side of the shop and start cutting some parts.
definitely, definitely satisfied. It's nice. It's a nice feeling to have come back to a project that you have had just sitting on the shelf for so long and actually see it become an actual object. <clears throat> I want to see this. I want to see this thing run. Got some good reach to it. Definitely satisfied. <clears throat> yeah. It's a good feeling. <laughs>